Yeah. What are we doing today? Um, doing this. Please pull this for our focus. What are we doing? Fit, fit the itsy dummy. Girl, English. Front splitter. Front splitter. For the focus. For the focus. 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 Guys, what are we doing today? Um, the front splitter for the what? Um. For the focus. For <laughs> all right, hey y'all, calm down. Uh oh, man down. You need to be yelling, all right. So what I'm doing, guys, is I got this piece of wood for free. So there's a guy here in Houston, Mark. Maybe y'all know him. Um, he ordered a front splitter, and I think he paid like six hundred and fifty dollars for a chassis mounted front splitter, which is just made out of wood anyway. And then the brackets obviously metal. And I'm just like, I'm like, that's ridiculously expensive. So, I found this piece of wood for free. <laughs> I'm going to treat it. I'm going to paint it black. And then, obviously, it's like the perfect size, guys. Let's be for real. Like, it doesn't poke out too much. I'm obviously going to cut these. Watch out, buddy. I'm probably going to cut them, like, right here. That way it sticks a little bit past the tire. But I get rid of these pointed, wide-ass edges because I really don't need all that. Um, but, yeah, guys, it's, it's perfect. It's a free piece of wood. I'm just going to have to make up the brackets to mount this. Um, it's just sitting on some bricks right now, but obviously it'll be all the way up against the bumper, um, which will give it a nice look, and it'll give it that under tray, which I, I don't have for this RS bumper. Um, and it'll be a true chassis mounted splitter. I'm going to keep try to keep it all under $100. Obviously, I'm already at a win because I got this piece of wood for free. Um, so, this is going to be fun and exciting, guys. Follow me on this journey to make a under $100 chassis mounted splitter for our car. And you might say, why wood? A lot of companies use wood because it's durable. Um, and honestly, it's not fiberglass. It's expensive and it's going to shatter. Or metal that's just going to bend. So it's cheap to replace. All right, Peter, are you all right? You can't get me. Get up. But yeah, cheap, easy, and uh, it's going to be functional. That's the best part about it, guys. Getting into this, you can see I have cut both sides off measured them made sure they are both the same you know length so i can have an equal an equal length splitter um now i got my little handy dandy milwaukee drill with a sandpaper bit on the end and i'm basically just going to go and touch all the sides here to make them smooth like this and then kind of round the edge so it's not such a sharp edge um and then after that i have some primer um, it's like engine block primer, so I'm hoping it works. We'll see. If not, then I'll move to something else. Um, and hopefully the primer will help kind of fill in some of these little wood grain gaps and stuff. I don't think it's going to fill it in all, but I don't really care too much because, like I said, it's going to be a splitter underneath my car. Car. So, um, yeah. So this is what I got there, and then I have some black paint that I have had in my shelf. So far, this has costed me no money um but i did have to go buy a handsaw because i didn't want to buy an electric one that was 10 bucks um and then like i, I bought some random hardware and crap like that see what i can do with it so i bought some you know like little nuts and bolts here some pretty beefy washers um because like i said this is going to be chassis mounted so i want to be able to stand on the splitter without it moving or something and then i got kind of these for, like base plates um Roughly like a little over two dollars a piece at a uh, Lowe's, so total I spent thirty bucks, and that's with the saw. Um, so I'm really into this thirty bucks. The rest of the spray paint stuff I had, but if you want to add all that up, I mean you're talking about what like forty five bucks maybe for the spray paint included, and then if you don't have the sandpaper bit and all that, it gets expensive. We don't have that, but most of the stuff like I said, I'm doing this in my garage. And I'm not trying to make this one of those YouTubes that, oh, I built the splitter for under 100 bucks. But, I mean, I got a free piece of wood. I already had, you know, this shit in here, which obviously I just drilled some holes in. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, <laughs> I almost have everything I need. that will be set up nice and, and right. And now I have my daughter out here. I can go pee in my toilet. You want pee in your toilet? Good job. I'm not just doing a picture. Now you're on YouTube saying that. But yeah, guys, we're going to finish this up and uh, get all these edges rounded, get it primed up, and then I'll be back to y'all after it's primed to see how it's looking. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll have it mounted either. So I ran out of black spray paint, but I went ahead and primed it 
I got it all good to go, and I put about a coat and a half on of black paint. Don't touch her, and it's wet. No, we'll throw it away inside, baby. And, um, yeah, guys, it looks pretty good, though. There's a slight crack right here that's already in the wood, but whatever. It's free wood. Um, then, obviously, I'll get it mounted up and see where my holes need to be, and I'll drill the holes and mount it to the crash bar, and hopefully it all stays on there, huh? All right, guys, so here's where I'm at. I got one side with the mount on. Um, it's not tight yet because I'm going to leave it loose before I tighten everything up. But that's right where I want it. It is right on the um, outside of the intercooler fans. So this should keep everything nice and cool. Um, obviously, I did two mounts up top just to keep it stiff. Uh, I'll do the same for this side. You can already see I have the bottom hole drilled here. There'll be another top hole drill there. It'll sit right there. And this should sit flush up right against the bumper. Um, on the bottom side. If not, I can play around. I got a whole length of this to make an adjustable one to adjust the height to where I need it. Obviously, I can't drill too many holes. I'll have to replace them, but I got two more pieces of aluminum the same way. So, <clears throat> this is all kind of like a, a test fit and whatnot. So, but yeah, if that thing is going to come out nice. Uh, I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, and then I'm going to work on the mount brackets for the bottom for the actual thing so I'll put the actual mounting brackets down here on this and uh, yeah we'll go from there guys but we're getting close we're getting close I, I think this is gonna work out and I think it's gonna look really nice so now that I have it in this position I'll obviously do the other side but with that being said I feel like I could have flights back where the whole plate could shift back so I feel like I almost need something to keep it in line here so with the bracket right here I might add another like aluminum little 90 bracket that would bolt to here that would keep it from you know waving back and forth um, cause that's what I don't want obviously that'll loosen up stuff or it could snap the aluminum so I need something to sturdy up a little bit more to keep it from sliding back ways um, this could be overkill but I'd rather be safer than sorry so we'll see what I come up with um, I'll put the other side on and see if it's still kind of wiggling back and forth if it is then yeah I'm gonna have to reinforce it to keep it from wiggling front and back because that's what you don't want on a fucking solid chassis mounted place hey guys so just an update here it is um, looks good fits great um, one of the issues I was having is obviously this aluminum is pretty thick but it's not thick enough to keep the um, in place so it has a little bit of back and forth movement uh, enough to where it makes me a little uncomfortable so what I'm using is there's a bottom radiator support right there right behind the intercooler that is basically just this hollow piece of metal that goes all underneath it and so I'm putting those brackets right there I cut one of those pieces of aluminum I had right there in half and um, I'm using it as kind of like an elbow to keep it from having that back and forth movement so this should keep it all steady and <coughs> excuse me solid so I shouldn't run into any issues of it moving back and forth. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mount it all up and see how sturdy it is, and I'll step on it and see if it holds my weight. All right, guys, she's wiring the plant, but here's what y'all are wanting to see. And, guys, it's freaking ridiculous. It holds my weight. I'm about to take it for a test drive. I don't think this motherfucker is going to go anywhere. I mean, it it doesn't fucking move. It flexes down a little bit, obviously, because you're stepping on it, and it's moving away from the bumper, but it doesn't, it doesn't fucking, like, wiggle or anything. Like, literally, the whole car shakes with it. Look. So, truly tra chassis mounted. It's going to hold some weight. It's going to hold on there when I'm driving. Just looks sick. Mind you, my fucking wheel wells are all fucked up. Blah, blah, blah. But, this thing, this is dope. For a piece of wood and so, so a little bit of time and some paint, fucking 30 bucks later, got a true chassis mounted splitter. And, it acts like an under tray. So no longer I have air getting forced under or around my intercooler. It's going to be getting right in there. So, hell yeah, boys. What is going on, guys? So I got my final pieces in for the focus for what I'm doing to it as of yet until I finish the prelude. I'm very excited. I've, I waited a little over a month for these pieces. Well, maybe not that much. Probably right at about a month to get these in, um, which isn't bad. I've waited longer. Uh, they had a few issues with getting some hardware and whatnot because of COVID and blah, blah, blah. Typical stuff that's going on right now. So I understand these pieces look awesome. And uh, I'm going to flip y'all around and show y'all what I got. And then we're going to get to installing. So I got the Vega canards. And I also got some side plates for the splitter. I haven't been running a splitter for the past few weeks because I bent one of the brackets. I took it off. 
and I uh, sanded it all down, sanded it smooth. This is the underside, and um, I truck bed coated it. So let me get this on the floor and show you. So yeah, we're gonna take the bumper off my car. We're gonna cut this like how I want to cut it, and then uh, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna put it together, guys. I'm 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 excited. I'm ready to have this thing put together. All right, guys. So thanks to a really good friend, Michael. He ran me over his skill saw. I was able to use it to make the bigger cuts. I was trying to drill through it with my drill, and he's like, dude, don't do that. You can see where I had the marks. Um, I kind of just cleaned everything up a little bit. It was kind of hard to get closer to this because of the guide on the skill saw. So I just did the best I can. I'm not really too worried about sanding that all the way down. Um, nobody's going to be able to see that, but it did take off that piece. So I should be able to reach my oil um, filter and all that pretty easy when this is on here now. And I should still have a solid piece with taking a little bit off the front splitter. So, yeah, that's what I'm happy with. That's what I did. Um, you could very much go in here and, like, trim off these, trim off the corners, you know. But I might do that at a later date. But I'm going to try this out. I still got to get the air on. I don't want to lose sunlight. I had some people come over and buy some LEDs. So we're going to get all this stuff on the focus. I'm excited all finished up what do you think dude oh no 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 all right sorry he's trying to grab the phone what do you think dude all right guys i'm gonna show y'all real quick he won't answer but it came out awesome i'm super happy with it super aggressive took a little longer than expected but i was trying to make sure that both of them were completely even um <laughs> Like I said, I, could, I couldn't be happier. It, it looks pretty damn aggressive. It's the look I was going for. Um, yeah, drilling holes in your bumper is a little nerve-wracking, especially when you spend about a grand on it. The front splitter looks a ton better. It's all finally one thing. You can still completely stand on it, um, which is another plus. I also was able to give me... A little bit more room from the bumper because it was kind of sitting on the bumper so I was able to lower the splitter just a tad bit um, yeah it moves the whole car hopefully I don't rub getting in the driveway I kind of rubbed the last time getting in the driveway so we'll see what you think Axel yeah what you think dude yeah 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 hell yeah guys